There are a number of key issues that the nation is facing related to teacher professional development in science and mathematics. What are the best ways to prepare our special educators to teach math and science? We still need to do a lot of research and thinking more deeply about how we do that. And then at large, there's a real shortage of teachers for teaching math and science. So how do we fill those gaps and how do we fill that need? And then how do we prepare the general educators, though, to teach science and math to our students with disabilities? Our department, the Department of Special Education, has numerous projects that are making significant impacts in the state of Missouri, in the schools and districts, and at large. So at John Warner, we have about 20% of our students who receive special education services as a part of their education. We continue to have students come in and student teach with us. And so there are a couple other teachers here who went to Mizzou who are now host teachers for students at Mizzou. And so I think being in Columbia and being a part of Columbia Public Schools and the, the tie that they have with Mizzou, it's really kind of special, it's really important being able to kind of go back to your roots and even as a host teacher continue to learn through what that student teacher is bringing from their classes directly is beneficial to both parties. So we're teaching but we're also still learning from what from what they're doing at Mizzou and asking their interns to do. Behavior concerns are universal. They vary school to school, district to district, state to state, but one constant is all schools will deal with children and youth who display challenging behavior. And one of the things we know is that the sort of traditional kind of get tough, zero tolerance, trying to punish kids, simply doesn't work. So there's this need to sort of rethink. Uh, and, and our focus is about building appropriate skills, not simply trying to reduce problem behavior. In other words, we want to build pro-social skills that we know will help them be successful both in school as well as post-secondary. I'm working on a couple of different projects right now. One that focuses on middle school mathematics. So we're working with middle school math teachers uh, to help support them in supporting their students who have some great need in learning. Uh, this is part of a Office of Special Ed funded program called Project STAIR. I also have an early writing project where our focus is supporting and coaching teachers who are working with students who are struggling and have intensive needs in early writing. We've been really fortunate that during the time that we've been working on these projects, we've seen really positive impacts. Uh, for instance, with the early writing project, over the time that we've been collecting data, we've seen positive impacts on student outcomes, but also really positive impacts on teacher outcomes. And we're seeing those results sustain, which is really a goal of ours, not to just have it be while we're in the moment, but uh, we hope that these impacts and the work that we're doing sustains over time. I'm a proud Mizzou alumni, so I attended Mizzou um, for my undergraduate degree. Prior to my PhD program, I was a staff member with Missouri School Ed Positive Behavior Support, which is uh, housed in the special education department. Working with other students who were part of the PhD program and learning more about it and the department itself and the faculty and the experiences is what encouraged me to apply. When I was searching for programs, Mizzou was the only university that had a special education department within the College of Education, and they had a degree specific to emotional behavior disorders, and I thought it was just the perfect fit for me. This opportunity at Mizzou has allowed me to take part in IES grants and gain the experience that a world-class researcher needs in order to uh, make their mark in academia, in writing, in research. So I feel very lucky, very blessed, very fortunate to have this experience at Mizzou.